Hello, hello, my crafty friends. It's me, Leslie. I hope you're having a wonderful week um, and that you're ready to get crafty tonight. Um, we really notice a big difference in how dark it is outside at 9 p.m. I always notice it whenever it comes to my live streams because it always feels like one week it's really light and then the next week, boom, that's it, it's dark. <laughs> so really getting into the autumnal kind of, um, which is my favorite time of the year, by the way. I've got all my pumpkins out, so excited. But my local Starbucks have ran out of pumpkin spice latte. Ran out, oh, not happy. But I'm happy that I'm going to be crafting with you guys tonight. We've got some people in the chili chat having a little uh, hello, hello. We've got Roberta, hello. And Jasmine's here, and Marcy's here, and Amanda's here. Um, and anyone else that joins us, uh, come on in and say hello. Let me turn you around now because, um, and Louise is here too. Hey Louise. Um, I started making a project earlier today because Morgan and I did a live over on Instagram, the Happy Little Instagram earlier. Ashley's here too. Ooh, okay. Boost my mic. Actually, what happened was earlier I tripped over my mic. And it fell to the ground so i'm hoping i haven't damaged it i need it closer is that any better oh no let's see i might have changed the setting let me see there's three different settings on my mic this is setting this is setting one is that any better it might have changed whenever i dropped it Still very quiet, still very quiet, okay. Let me try setting, oh that fixed it, that fixed it. Okay, yay. That probably what happened, disaster averted. Okay, so I wanted to use the new Gumbelievable stamp set for a card. And if you join the live over on Instagram, you will know uh, kind of my idea for this card so this definitely reminds me this jar reminds me of a candy store you know the ones you go in and behind the counter there's just shelves and shelves full of different types of candy um, and there's like bonbons and sweeties and all sorts of really fun things and um, that's what I um, was imagining for a card so maybe like shelves with the jars on it and then maybe also <laughs> to make it fun i pulled out the hello squeak heart stamp set so my idea was that i would have some mice running a little wild in this candy store that was my thought so i did <laughs> um Roberta says that is so cute. Hope Bob picks that to get. <laughs> and Ness is here. Yay! We have a sweet shop like that here. Yeah, so good. So I started colouring one and I coloured a couple of mice and I'm going to colour a couple more for my project. And earlier today there was uh, the mysterious vanishing of my memento ink pad and as soon as we finished the live we moved the Copics out of the way and my memento ink pad was right there so these are all embossed at the moment hey candy hey babes um and i'm not hating it it's been so long since i have had i've like embossed images to actually just use so i'm okay with that mm -hmm. Jasmine's saying it's so hard to choose what to play with first. I used the coffee cup for a design team project. Find a work my way through the box of goodies and find somewhere to store it as I use it. Yeah, I had to clear out my box that holds all my heffy doodle stuff because it was completely full. So I had to move all my dies to a different to a different one to accommodate the new stamp. <laughs> right, let's uh, I'm actually going to, I think die cut some of these even before I colour them in because 
I want to get a sense for how many I'm going to be able to fit on a card. So let's give that a go. First and foremost. I found it really hard to know where to start as well, Jasmine, whenever I was making samples for the release. And in the end, I pretty much just started uh, in skew order and started off with Let's Hang Out. But I got so inspired by the Let's Hang Out stamp set that I made like four cards using that and then didn't have time to use some of the other ones later on in the release. Um, not sure that was the best idea but I did have fun so now I'm getting to use these other ones that I am really excited about using like the candy Jasmine says all your dyes have their own box already and your bigger fridge bin for your stands but then it won't fit in my cubby hole oh no okay let's See where we're at. We'll do cut one more. I know I've not uh, coloured these, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I give Ranger a groom earlier, and I managed to like pull a muscle in my back. So after the live, after work today, I was like, oh, I need to go lie down. And uh, take a painkiller. So, it, so far, it's feeling like it's on the mend, but I just want to get this card done and then see how I feel. Hopefully, we can make it through without damaging myself. Jazz said, I used that one first for Hobby's birthday card this week. Ah, there you go. Happy birthday, Ben. Okay, let's set that to the side for just now. And I'm going to pull out uh, one of my rectangular frames because that is uh, a two size. And it'll give me an idea. the space I want to fill so I don't know whether I'm going to go this way or this way but I want to have some shelves definitely want it to look like shelves and maybe we have it this way Um, we're gonna get probably only gonna have two shelves worth because uh, I need I need to have a, an actual shelf for it to sit on so I was thinking about this a little bit earlier and I was thinking I could just have um, a strip I could use maybe one of the strips of ease to cut a little strip of almost like wood and that would be my shelf uh, and then I thought of these guys from the, the the birch trees from the Dear To Me set. So I thought, oh, that could work too. Although this little bit I wasn't so keen on. And then I had the idea that here in the bed heads, the foot of the bed almost looked like little um, like uh, brackets for a shelf. But it's not long enough. But I wonder if we could make something work with this. Maybe, maybe. But either way, it looks like I'm going to need at least a centimeter for my shelf. So I think I'm only really going to get two shelves worth of sweeties in here 
but we could work with that. If I go this way, we could probably still get, could we get two shelves? Maybe not complete shelves, just like the, the overhanging. And I think the other one would be fine. Jasmine says, did I tell you Ben had a splinter about an inch long? Uh, no. And he had to have an operation to have it removed because it was touching an artery. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Is he okay? Ooh. Crazy, crazy. How about the skinniest rectangle from the stitched rectangle border dies? These ones, the imperial stitch rectangles. These ones you mean? Or the or the frame. How about the skinniest rectangle from the you mean the frames? I, th I think you might mean this. Hit me right if it is. So when we have the skinny frames, is that like so? And then it would sit on top. I don't think it's big enough. I don't think it's wide enough to support these big bulging jars of sweeties. I think we will try to mask the bed heads one. Um, why not, didn't I? Will we? Because we're not going to see the end of the shells. It probably doesn't really matter. One, two, three. Oh, the strips of ease. Strips of ease. Let's try that. Strips of ease. Um, Okay, we've got a skinny strip like so. With some shells with the, some jars on it. And I think that the ones at the bottom will be overhanging a little bit. Unless we go this way. We could have some overhanging the top. And then we would have ones in the middle. And then ones at the bottom. Maybe that would work better. But if we're going to do that, I wonder if we could divide, use the trio. Just testing. It might not work, but it works, that'd be really cool. Probably not large enough. I don't think the frame's going to be big enough. No. Good idea, though. Okay, well, that means I'm going to need a couple of these guys anyway, at least. At least six, probably. The one percent strips of ease. Yes, thank you, Amanda. You might need a slim line to fit them all. Yeah, that might look better. Let's have a look. What slimline drives onto? My DL guy must be lurking somewhere, but where's the um scalp boy? So we could have 
one, two, three, four. Five. Yes, I think this is going to work better. But we're definitely going to need at least six jars for this, I think. Amanda says, I love the scallop one line. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's cut out a couple of uh, these guys. And I'm going to use some craft card stock, I think, to make it look like. Ooh, should I use craft card stock? Or should I use um just white? Because maybe what we could do is have. I like the sort of candy stripe background I think that would be really fun but instead of using the stencil what we could do is use a pattern paper and we could either do something bright and colorful Or we go neutral. So, for example, is that going to be too boring as a background, the grey one? Amanda says, oh, Leslie, now I want to make the same card. Yes, do it. That'd be, I always love seeing different people's like interpretations. That'd be really fun. <laughs> uh, Louise says, have you been getting your hair cut, Leslie? Looks lovely. I got it cut before we went to New York for my birthday. Um, and I got it uh, blondified a little bit. But to be honest, guys, I have not washed my hair since the day before yesterday, and it is a mess. I, and I also washed it and then didn't blow dry it, so it was quick up in a ponytail for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. So what about if we have a nice, bright, colourful background here? What do you guys think? Ooh, that could be cute. Part of me really likes the blues and the pinks, but I wonder if the pinks are going to be too bright. Jasmine says, light up the shelves. Ooh, fancy. I feel like that's going to be too bright, but we could dim it down with a piece of vellum. Ooh, love it when plans come together. Let's try a blue, maybe. I've been using the guts out of this. I don't even think I have a blue left. Teal might work, but there's a lot of teal in my designs. So I don't think it's going to pop quite as much. I think the pinks will work. Let's just put this all to the side while I look for my other one. What's in my wildflowers? Mm, that was a bit too, it's a little bit of a darker colour. Or brighter yellow. What do you guys think? Should we go for a yellow? Or should we go for a pink? I might mute it down a little bit with some vellum. Why not? Maybe, maybe not. Of 
think you actually can't really see the the, the candy type if you did it on. What's your thoughts? Marcy's liking the pink. All right, let's see if I can find another packet of summer holiday so I can get my pink on. Uh, Amanda is saying, I love New York. Did you guys have a good time? Amanda, we had the absolute best time you like i can't even explain it was just incredible from start to finish and um, it was amazing uh craig had done such an amazing job of um like planning things as well so no matter where we were in the city he was like okay well this is this is here's where we are and bring up the maps here we are and here's all these things which were really recommended places to eat um so all the time we had pretty much at our fingertips um places that were awesome to, to eat at so it was so good so good i enjoyed myself so much super duper okay let's cut out this scalp frame because i think it's kind of cute so let's add that and then we'll uh, a add the paper to the inside and that will create the base of our card and we can get cracking we what did we do we went in the in total we saw four shows i know crazy huh so much fun we saw um we went to go see uh, the Lion King. We saw the Lion King for my birthday. And we saw the Music Man with Hugh Jackman and uh, Foster. And we saw the Little Shop of Horrors, which was amazing. And as well as that, we saw the Book of Mormon. Uh, I had seen that one before, but Craig hadn't. So it was, but it was a different experience to to see it on Broadway. So it was absolutely amazing. Marcy says we have tickets for Kinky Boots. Oh, I'd love to see Kinky Boots. That would be so good. Let me go measure this. So I cut down my panel for inside it. Three by eight. So let's stick these two. Uh, let's cut these down at three. Oh, that works out really well. I'll just use one. So this will go like this, and I'm not going to cut them just yet because I want to join them wherever my shelf will be so let me see i get some craft cardstock Uh, did you have a hot dog or a pretzel in Central Park? <laughs> yes, we, we didn't have a pretzel. So I like the soft pet pretzels, but I like the cinnamon ones rather than the uh, savory ones. Um, so totally would have several times in our trip gone, I could really go for pretzel, but I didn't really want the savory ones. But we went for a hot dog right outside the Met, Central Park um it was i don't know if you guys have seen there's been a couple of shows on netflix about like street food and the best food blah blah and there is a food cart called hot dog king and it's outside the met on the east side of central park 
and that's where we went so good our pretty much our strategy was to um go places and order small and then um what we would do is have like five or six meals every day <laughs> Mm -hmm. That was our strategy. We came back so fast. It was brilliant. <laughs> it's really good. Marcy says we plan to eat our way through Central Park. Uh, actually, in Central Park, there wasn't really... I mean, Central Park is huge, but I didn't see, seem to think there was that many like food options um, in the park. Around the outside, you have these... Like, um, a couple of food trucks. And we had picked the hot dog king as one of the ones we wanted to go and see and to test drive. So that was good. But um, no, I didn't think there was an awful lot of choice, but it might have been we weren't really looking. I'm just going to use this as a scratch piece of card and I'm going to add a little bit of shading onto these. With some pens. And we got pizza, lots of New York pizza. And um, went out for drinks one night. And I got a got a, got a cocktail and it was the night before my birthday, so we got waited to midnight and then I was like, yay! And I got a cocktail. That was so good. And we oh, we did we just did so much. It was amazing. We went on my actual birthday. We went to. Jackson Heights and we did a food tour and uh, that meant that we could go and eat lots of things <laughs> which is always a bonus and we here it is. Uh, we so we did that and um we went to a baseball game it was really good Jasmine says a real cocktail or a mocktail it was a mocktail of course <laughs> I'm not that big of a grown up to have a cocktail. Okay, let's get colouring in my jars. Now, I don't need my zero. Here I did talk a little bit about colouring this in earlier. I'm starting with my BG10 to go around the edges, but when I say edges, it's not actually edges. I'm leaving a little gap before the edge. My one time in Central Park, Yoko Ono walked by when we were talking about the Strawberry Fields Memorial. Whoa, that is so cool! Um, I did not have uh, any like famous people encounters in Central Park. After the show of The Music Man, we waited outside and we saw Hugh Jackman come out. That was my like, claim to fame. And which I was even more excited about was when we left the... Um, the roller rink in Central Park when we were leaving. Um, this raccoon ran across the path in front of us. And um, yeah, as you, I, if you know, I love raccoons. I was like, oh, come, on, come back, come back. I really wanted to see a raccoon. And like a lot of my American friends are a bit like, oh, they're vile, they're nasty, they're vermin. I'm like, no, I just want one. I want one. I just want to see one. So much fun. I was very, very excited to see that. Hi, honey. Sorry, Rangers come up going, what's all this excitement about? 
Okay. So now I have one with bonbons and one with love hearts. Let's see what else we're going to do. So I think we'll add the little label onto some of these. So we have labels that say like candy, for you, yum, etc. So it'd be cool to have a candy on here, I think. Some candy for candy. And I'll do a couple of these, I think. At least two. Let's trim out these masks and stick them on top. And the great thing about these little labels is that it's another way to add some colour. Hiya! To your jars. I think this would also be fun to look at some of the other stamps that you might have in your stash. You might have little like, lollipops or little suckers and things like that that you could put in here. There's also um, like candy candy canes and ca uh, what you call it, candy corn in my other stamp sets. That might work. Earlier we were talking about um, talking about everybody's favourite candy. If you went to a candy store right now, what do you think you would buy? And Morgan said chocolate bonbons. And somebody else said, I think it was, was it key lime pie bonbons? So I think these little round guys will have lots of um, versatility because, oh gosh, come on, they could be bonbons, they could be gobstoppers. Amanda says, I love them too. Micah almost killed a baby raccoon once, but not on purpose. I should hope not on purpose. There we go. Layer that up so we get double gumballs in there. You should make a small add-on set to make creepy Halloween additions. Ooh, like eyeballs. Like you could totally turn these into eyeballs, right? There's another idea for you guys. Instead of um, instead of cute little mice in a candy store, what about using the spider from Let's Hang Out? Oh, that would be fun. There we go. Lots of little bubblies in there. Spiders, fingers, and bones. Cola cubes, but they rack your tongue. Yes, cola cubes. So good. That would be so good. Uh, let's see if the costume critters. Might be here all. Oh, shoot, I've just dropped it. I found 
find him. So the costume critter has a larger candy corn here. And there's also a little sucker guy, which may take longer to mask. <laughs> Not be the easiest. Let's do it on this one that has a label on it. Hey Rebecca, I just saw your message uh, on Facebook. Oh, for those of you who haven't, um, you may you may or may not have seen, but we from Happy Doodle have sent out a little questionnaire. We're trying to uh, get some insight into our audience and what we can do. To help our customers and uh, essentially what we can do better, what we can do, what we could change to make life easier for you guys. If we can do anything at all. Okay. And I think I will just do one more candy corn and this will be a, uh, everyone has nearly at all the candy corns. All right. Perfect, perfect. Get that back where he belongs. So there is a little like twirly suckery guy. We could add a couple of them in there as well. Maybe you guys have other ideas of things that you could use too. So let's take my candy stamp and stamp it on. Not used him before, so let's season him. This is a great idea, add-on sets for the various holidays. Oh yeah, what else could you do? What else could you put, so like a candy cane? Let's do an X, so we do, let's do yum. Yum. Awesome. Anniversary stamp and scripture stamps was a was a suggestion there. Okay, right, so I've done one teal lid, but I haven't done the other lids yet because I think I'm going to mix and match them. 
snowflake type candies, gold coins, lump of coal, lemon drops and gum drops. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to think through my stamps to see. I mean, you could just draw things in if you wanted to do like ones with a little um, like twisty end on it, especially with the, here we have the plain circle. So let's try that. Let's give take the plain circle. And we'll make a rat candy with this. And just use your pen to fill in the gaps. Like so. That works. <laughs> Would look like worms. Oh, licorice laces. Yeah, you could just draw them in. I think that they are, they would be quite easy to add. Even cola cubes. Cola cubes would be quite easy to add, wouldn't they? They're just like squares. So let's try. And the great thing about candy is that they don't have to be perfect. That would be my cola cubes. Where are cola cubes? Oh, I'm just being sorry. Uh, there's marshmallows in the coffee set. Marshmallows. Dog treats for the dog lover. And you can see you could make a card for um, someone who loves dogs. Or you could put it, like have one of these and put little bonios. Actually, there's a, there's a really cute bone with like a wrapper around it in one of the I think it's the um who let the dogs out stamp set maybe it is and that would be cool you could put little dog presents in it the world is your oyster or rather the world is your candy store
And to make these look a little bit more like grass, I'm thinking at the end, I'm either going to use a Wink of Stella or some Nouveau Crystal Glaze to give them a bit of a shiny look. That would be fun, huh? The bone in the Flintstone set. Yeah, actually, even the like club, the little club in the Flintstone set, or like a large um, heart. You could have like a big sweet, that's a big heart. I challenge you to have a look through your stash and see what you could put in here. I think you'll find lots and lots of options. The very big heart, the ring could be the heart. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys are like knocking it out of the park right now. That's a really good idea. I'm not sure if we have a, like a strawberry, but I used to always love the, the candied strawberries. Gummy strawberries. And they were quite big. Well, I'm sure you could find a strawberry in a set somewhere. Bananas, yes. Bananas that, oh, we used to have the banana sweets. I always thought they tasted a little bit chalky. I wasn't a big fan of them. Is it the shrimp, shrimp and bananas? Was that what it was? This one's a fun one. The other thing that I used to have was little, they were like chalky sweets, but they were they're almost like sherbet-y, like they tasted like sherbet, um, and they were alphabets. Did you guys ever have anything like that where you grew up? <laughs> Louise loves those foam bananas. And um, Roberta is craving candy now. <laughs> Um, also, these little round ones could be, you know, the candy that almost has that candy swirl in it. We went to an American diner for pancake breakfast one day, as you know, uh, in New York. And as we were leaving, there was like a, a tub of them. And I was like, yes, because you don't get them over here. And I remember asking Kelly, I think it was like, oh, Kelly, if you see any of that candy, can you send it over to me? And she was like. That is like the cheapest, tackiest nonsense ever. And I was like, yeah, but I've never had it and I want to taste it. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Lolet. What's Lolet? Don't know. And Jazz remembers those alphabets. Yay. Oh, Violet. Yeah. Uh, Roberta's going to have a churro dough. Is that like a churro donut? Because that sounds delicious. From Krispy Kreme instead. Yum, yum, yum in my tum. Okay. Now it's time to colour my candy. American friends with candy corn is it I think it's white in the middle but is it yellow white is yellow on the fat end or the thin end please let me know because we wouldn't want this uh, candy store to be 
factually incorrect, would we? Yellow on the bottom, orange in the middle, and a oh, white tip. Sorry, I got that the wrong way around. So when you say tip, it must be the skinny end is white. All right, so I'm just coloring in my cola cubes here. Orange, then yellow, then white. So orange at the fat end. Then yellow. I think it might be the little bit deeper yellow. Then white. Okay, there's my candy corn done. I remember it says, I think. <laughs> Well, it's done now, so we'll just pretend it is right, even if it's not. This should... Oh, you have it backwards for that. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, these colour cubes should come with a warning, like, will absolutely ruin the roof of your mouth. But will taste delicious. Right, so we're going to have the two yellowy ones. Let's See, these could be citrus bonbons or lemon drop kind of things. white orange brown oh i've not seen those ones oh sewer plume sewer plumes are good they're like green aren't they all right these ones are going to be like um gob stoppers so we're going to go for random colors And for these, um, the ones that are up near the top, I'm going to 
keep a little bit of a white gap before I color the edges. Oh, Roberta is asking, how is your craft room remodel coming along? Oh, thanks for asking. Um, it is coming along really well. So um, we had the taper in this week, um, which I'm not impressed about. He said he's coming back tomorrow on a Saturday at 8am to sand everything down. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. And yeah, so he's coming in tomorrow. And then on Monday, we will have the joiners back in to put in all the skirting boards and all the doors. We had our aircon put in when we were away. And um, although once the, the aircon units are in, but the, the controllers are not yet sorted yet but that's okay we'll get we'll get to them once it's painted so this monday till friday coming we'll have the joiners in and we'll get doors and then we'll get skirting boards and that next friday we will have the tiler so our next week's stream i will have the tiler starting in my ensuite getting that all tiled and my underfloor heating put down and then the following week I'll have a painter here um, and I've ordered my worktop for around the edge but I am waiting on samples for a worktop for the middle of basically my craft island because I can have it white like this which I think will look good for videos but I could also have it like a marble effect or something so I don't really know it's hard to know These guys are going to be like steel plumes all wrapped up. A little bit of form. like sewer plumes were must be an innately British thing and now that I think about it it's probably plum flavor but I just thought they were like an apple flavored kind of thing look at us we're doing great okay So let's die cut out these other ones. I'm going to lay them out before I decide on what color their top will be, their lid. Roberta says, we are hoping to design a house with a craft room for our last move. <gasps> that would be fun lots of things i'm learning though so for example for my craft island i have to uh, because i stand up to craft i have to get the joiner to raise up the whole units and um, to be about a meter high so i don't know how he's going to do it but he needs to do it so it was i don't care how just do it and a sink. I know Amanda has said, you know, the sink's been amazing for her. So I have picked a sink. I haven't ordered it yet. That's on next week's agenda. I'm kind of in that phase of I want to get everything ordered, but I also don't want things lying around the house. And um, we already have in our corridor massive box with a door a massive box of the like door runners a massive box with a mirror for the bathroom a massive box with the shower screen and um, two boxes which are the toilet and whatnot 
So, like, it, if that catch 22, well, if I want to get it all ordered and sorted, but I don't want to clutter flies. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. So this is my shell and I'm not scared of like cutting them in half so that they overlap a little bit I don't really mind about that so that looks cool That works. I think. So by that reasoning, I want to have my, if I start with these guys near the top like this, like this or like that? Hmm. I think I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap at the top so I can have a mouse up there. So if I put it here, there, and I can cut that. And stick it down. Let's just double check this. Is that a little, a little bit? No. No, I think it's fine. I'll maybe cut a little tiny bit off it. Using my little trimmer. And now I can add my shelves onto here. Now I'm going to make my shelves um, a little bit bigger than the three inches. So it overhangs the pink ever so slightly. And I wonder if I use one of my strips, would that make it? What do you guys think? Keep him in case I need him for a mouse. 
just round off the corners just a little bit. Jasmine says you need slimline paper packs. Yeah, it's a good idea. Here we go. Okay, so we've got one there. I'll cut the next one down. This is right off. Now let's lay these out. Okay, roughly about here. And then a third one for the bottom. So these are the Happy Doodle um, double sided adhesive strips. And they have worked out perfect for this. I think. Okay. So we're going to have some gob stoppers, some cola cubes. It's all coming together. At this point, I'm going to get my cardstock base, I think. And I'm going to go for teal because I love it. There we go. This will just give me an idea of what it's all going to look like when it's all put together. Right, where are my mice? They need to come and join the party. Because we could have them. This guy I was going to have maybe even inside a jar, but I should have maybe done that before putting in the candy. Let's see. It's looking so good, says Jasmine. Works for the challenge this month as using pattern paper. Yeah, indeed, that's true. get a grey mouse. That's C5, C3, and C2. And I'll bring in a little R20 for his cheeks and eyes. Cheeks and ears, even.
He's very happy. Happy little mouse. Jasmine says, I just found your absolutely primary kitty book. I haven't even used it yet. I think it's time to see how many cards I can make from it and enter them into the challenge. That's a great idea. So I definitely wanted to have maybe one of these open with like the lid separate. That would maybe be kind of cool. could be almost peeking out of it maybe what could we do let's I'm, I'm gonna be lazy here and cut cut this right along the join like that and then I cut a lid to go on top of it so I can reclaim that bottom border. Is this way I don't have to stamp it again? <laughs> I'm going to stick this right on top of my die cut layer and then give myself, but before I do that, let's add a darker line to the bottom and then manually cut it out with a little border. And that, my friends, is how you fake it. And you see? We could do the same with the actual jar. I feel like the jar would need to have the lip on it up above. Let's see if we can fake that a little. I believe in my ability to do this. <laughs> I believe in my laziness. It's getting late. In fact, I think I have one that I prepared earlier. Right here. So let's die cut this. Like so. And then we're going to stick this guy right onto the bottom. And we'll trim around the lid and it will actually be two little bits where it joins on but we will eliminate them with a white gel pen once we've colored in this lip here
Okay. Tip that with a white gel. My favourite one from Pear Blossom Press. go now we've got an open jar oh no what are they gonna do it's nice I feel like we need more mice let's cut let's put some of these colors away and then at the very least, pop them out of the way. And I'll get some browns, maybe, for monkeys. My mice are all going to be different colours. Or at least on the most part. I do like to give them a lighter colour belly, a pink ear. Jasmine says the scratch off stickers for Pear Blossom Press would be fun with these jars too, with sweet underneath. Oh, that's cool. I haven't used them yet. That's something that needs to go on my list. Let's get this guy in grey. Goodness. And this one's almost like a white mouse. He's a to it's got toner grey colour. Roberta says I finally used the lighthouse set on a card. I was going to make it light up, but ran out of time to get submitted for craft roulette. Yes, you guys, I'm on craft roulette in a few weeks. I'm really excited, but I'm also a bit nervous about the fact that it's going to be crafted in the middle of the night. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not absolutely exhausted and have absolutely no, um, no brain power. I'm sure I'll be fine, won't I? Mm. Oh, I'll work out. But we are, Happy Doodle are sponsoring Craft Roulette this month. We are the spin sponsors, as they say. So yes, check out Craft Roulette. Over the next little while and feel free to submit your projects. Do that.
All right, let's cut these little fuzz balls out. Amanda says, my crack roulette card for last, last week uses all Heffy Doodle. Yay! I'm going to have to go and check out all the um, entries. See all the wonderful projects that you guys have made. Amanda said, thank you for sponsoring. I can't wait for you to be on the show. Ah, oh, thanks. It's going to be lots of fun. I can't wait. We did look at see if because uh, of the time difference we're like well maybe we could get someone from the design team to be on the show but I'm like but it sounds like fun I would really enjoy it so I don't like to miss out actually <laughs> don't know if you know this about me but I don't really like to miss out on fun things These little mice are getting into so much trouble. Roberta said, I wonder if she'll do it at a better time for you. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead with the normal time. It will be very late for me, but um, it's more important that we get the regular audience. I think it would be a shame for people to log on and then realize that it was on earlier than expected and they weren't aware of it or whatever. So we'll make it work i'll just be a little zoinked for the next day or two but so be it so be it he definitely needs to have a single uh, candied heart in his paws, wouldn't that be the cutest? Maybe you can nap before. Yeah, I'm gonna try and nap, but it's not always the most successful thing. When I was at uni, I used to work at a, like a clothes store and um, they did, nighttime hours and so I would go on sometimes to the nighttime hours it was 8 p.m till 8 a.m and that meant that I had to sleep during the day but it just never really worked <laughs> Jazz says luckily I'm off work that day yay Alright, ooh, I'm really done with these little mice. Nessa says, what's going on? <laughs> There's a YouTube channel called Craft Roulette. And it's run by um, a lady um, who does this really good idea, a really good um, concept where she gets some people on and they spin the wheel and then it picks like topics, I guess, is the best way to describe it for uh, crafting and then it's, it's a little bit like my stamp from it which you guys will be familiar with 
Instead of picking different stamp sets, it's uh, like topics, I guess you would say, or themes. It is the 23rd. Not next week, I don't think. So pretty, so pretty. Right, I do need to make sure that I am colouring in my lid, so don't let me forget that. Don't let me forget it. Cola cubes, candy corn. Candy corn and cola cubes. Uh, no, it won't be this. It won't be. Actually, that's a good point. I won't have a live here that night because I will hopefully be. Well, yes, I will be napping. I'm sure by that point. I also need to color in my little labels. So I'm thinking I might have my open one in the middle I think that would work let's sit here all oh, my mice this is what they look like And then we can see which ones we want to put where. These little guys are everywhere. My goodness, this card is taking me forever. I feel like it's going to be worth it though, because it's going to be a super cute card when it's all done. So we could try and put a mouse actually inside the jar. I don't know if that's just gross. <laughs> a mouse pe from peeking out from a lid like this. That would work. Okay, let's color in these lids. We're gonna go yellow for you. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to do all the little like knobs on top the same sort of brown color I think and you can be purple
Rhiney lid. Cute. Linda's here. Hey, Linda. And this one can be maybe a light pink. Kind of to match what's happening over here in our love hearts. Linda, call the exterminator. There's been a break in. These mice are taking over. Hey. Morning, dear. All right, so there's my... And that one's teal, obviously. And then down here, let's go for, what shall we go for? Should we go for an orange, maybe? There's my sewer plume. And then we'll go for a blue. All coming together. So I did think I was going to like cut off the edge to kind of give it more like it was a continuous thing, but now that I've overhung my my shelves. I don't know whether I want to do that because I would need to cut it off like this just before the scallop, I think. It would give me more room to put mice around and about, maybe more negative space, which I'm not opposed to. What's your thoughts? I'll trim them off. Leave them whole. Answers, please. I would like to know. I do like the fact that they become more staggered. Linda says, I like the trim idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it would be fun. Anyone else? Adds to the fun and the chaos. Okay, let's do it. It was the original plan, so let's just give it a whirl. Eh? 
Plus, it's getting late. Ahead. I'm going to add these using some glue dots if I can find them. I feel like if I'm going to assemble a card today, I'm probably not going to be able to glaze them, but I will put some Wink of Stella on them. So adding the glue dots means that I can leave some gaps behind to tuck in little critters which is good This little guy is poking out the top, and this guy's going to be right on here. But I'm probably going to add a tail to him, so I don't, oh, don't want to stick him down just yet. But this is there, so that's good. And I've got this little guy here as well. He might go there. Let's trim down my yum yum yum. other thing that would be fun to do is um we could stamp the like a little mouse inside the jar so it's kind of um a bit muted so it's a bit duller so he's inside the jar that would be cute um, this, if I just put him there, it looks like he is inside the jar. So I think I might do that. But once again, I might going. I might. I think I'm going to add um, a tail. So I'm not sticking just yet. I wanted to put him on there, but it completely covers my yum. Yells, yells. How are you doing, friend? So I'm going to change the lid color of this one to be more purple. That looks a bit different. Stuck like a kid in one of those toy machines with the claws, yeah. For sure, for sure. Oops, I accidentally caught one on my fingertips. There we go. Get my sewer plumes on there. I think it looks so much better when the jars are spaced a bit more randomly as well. Oh, I forgot to trim this one. Oopsies. I'm 
to trim it slightly. Oh, it needs to go a little bit more. I don't think my trimmer is going to catch it. This will work out, I think. There we go. Cute card says the girls. Thank you, dear. I do have another partial that I could add on here, but I think I'll do without it because it's the same as this guy and I think it would be noticeable. So we've got a couple more mice here. Let's add some tails. We can stick them down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I need eight mice. Although some are peeking and I won't need a tail. Mice inside a paint shop. Yep. They have broken in and are causing chaos cheeky little boys cheeky little guys okay first things first These guys are tiny, so let's get my mini zots on the go. And he's going to pop himself right up. with a little bit of foam. It's in front of the cola cubes. Yeah, let's get the other one. Here. Yell Tail says, I have a set of fun fair ride dies. Do you have a stamp of critters that would sit in the basket? I would say that these um, mice are probably the smallest, like, complete critter that we have. Um, certainly, that's what I end up using for a lot of things like... Um, If he's on a hot air balloon and things like that, that's what I end up using. And this is called the Hello Squeak Heart stamp set. And one of my all time faves. 
Some of you re may remember Fitzgers, our uh, fat-tailed gerbil that we had. This stamp set was pretty much made in, uh, for him. <laughs> I decided I'm going to raise up the lid here so that I can raise up the Mouse. Some of the bed head critters may work. They have uh, it says Amanda and you're right they have like little paws over the edge there's also a little tiny baby koala in the quality hug stamp set and he's great for little things like that because he's smaller he's a wee baby he was designed to like go on the head like so you have the koala normal and then you could pop him on the head or the back of one of the other koalas that would work it kind of depends on the size of your funfair basket. Once I big it is. I think this is going to end up covering my yum. Sadly. But so be it. Linda says, I love that wee koala. He looks great popping out of a present. I think so too. He's a cutie. And he's so small. Alright, you are going to hold a... Uh, you're going to hold a little love heart in a second. You just hold on, Mr. Manny. Okay, who else have we got lurking around? A little guy here. I don't think he needs a tail. His tail will be behind him. And this guy could be running across. Maybe. Um, I don't know how I feel about cutting a mouse in half. I feel a little bit more panicked about that. <laughs> I think he's going to go in there. One, two, three, four. Maybe he's going to run across here because there's a bit of a gap there. And he's going a different orientation. Suzanne's here. Hiya. We're nearly done. Nice. 
Um, I have this guy. And I might just pop him on here. Hold up here. That's cute. I like him there. We'll do that. And for laziness sake, we'll just get some bluebird. No mice were harmed in the making of this card. Absolutely. What I do need now to stamp that little individual love heart. For this little guy who has broken in to the love hearts or conversation hearts so cheeky can't believe you did it And I think we will color in sort of the reddish color. Perfecto. Now I haven't yet got a sentiment or anything for this set. Where I could point. We've got would shoe be mine, shoe make me happy. Uh, all the other ones are probably not the ideal um the ideal orientation. We've also got a uh, sweetie pie. What have we got in the sweetie pie? Sentiments wise. Oh, I think I might need a tail for this guy. I forgot. I need a tail for him. So itty bitty it's hard to see to get the actual guy on there. So hopefully that's aligned up. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah. Don't forget to put it away safely. Because it is itty itty bitty. Alright, let's get some glue on here, I think.
he's flat because he's going to be in the jar so he's not going to be raised up oops hello A little love heart on top of him. Now I have a clear pretty, uh, mar uh, glitter marker over the top of all of these glass jars, including the sweetie. make it shine a little pearlescent sheen It'll not look like much just now for you guys, but I think it'll look really good when it catches the light later. Suzanne, you need to answer the question. If you were in a candy store right now, what would you buy? Oh, he'd move. Sorry, darling. He's in the way. Greg, what would you want from uh, the candy store? Would you get some milk bottles? Today I said um, to Morgan, we were talking about me making a card. I was like, well, I have an idea for cards, nice. And I said, oh, well, you know, every Christmas Santa normally brings Craig some like milk bottles. And Morgan went, oh, that is vintage. And I went, what'd you call my husband? <laughs> oh, there you go. He can wind up with that. <laughs> licorice. Someone says licorice. Woof. Um, someone else said, why not just sweet? Um, and then it says, mice are notorious chewers. So chew make me happy. That's true. Chew make me happy. Um... I'm okay with that. Do you make me happy? It fits quite nicely down there. We've got would you be mine? Um, the hello sweetie, I think we would have to separate. But that's not a big deal. We could separate it and put it on one line. Oh, reborn custies. Yum, 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 yum. I just look at the canister. can't have anything there. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Chocolate covered Brazil nuts. Yes, they would have been easy to draw. What about it? So we've got Hello Sweetie Pie here. What if we just masked the pie and have Hello Sweetie? And that would work. Cola cubes. Do you see my cola cubes, Craigie? Mm -mm -mm. Craig's going to be off to the candy store tomorrow. He will have been thinking, oh yes, yum, yum, yum. Two of those gives you a daily dose of selenium. <laughs> I like this Hello Sweetie. I wish I had um, embossed it on here. Let's see if we can do a very sneaky... Why does that not work? Oh, it went this way. Let's see if we could do a sneaky slide it in, in there kind of situation so I need a list and I need an embossing tool I mean a powder tool It's 
actually put this in the center. And then we put that little sweetie in the middle like this. Close it over. We're gonna ma mask off pie. No pies here, please and thank you. Apart from one sleeping in her bed. And then down here and then give the massage for good measure. Remove and stamp. And repeat. And what this also means is that we could still, uh, I feel like that moved. Oh. I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, we could still use to make me happy, but on the inside. Where is my white embossing powder? Do -do -do. Uh, this is not my very fine one. doesn't work it doesn't work this is why we're here we're test driving testing the waters Craig if you're still watching could you grab me a bottle of water I feel like my stump moved a little bit so I'm just going to clean it up with a pokey tool I hate heads in the way again I think it was actually my paper that moved. Nothing that my pokey tool can't handle. All right, let's try this. Ooh, peppermint creams. Mmm. Yep, please. Ready? All right. So this can go in here incognito. I just need to trim it roughly about here.
stick that in there and you're never going to know the difference. But hello sweetie. Like so. Take this on. And I think what would make this really cute is a selection of sequins or enamel dots. I think the enamel dots almost look like little candy themselves. In fact, you could put um, like candy on there to make it look like it's an enamel dot, or to make it look like it's um. Put enamel dot on there. Does it make it look like it can be? Must have used all my yellows so far. This guy, all smoke and crafty mirrors, work to treat, flower to charm. <laughs> We've got a little um candy out here. This guy's got one. Um, this guy's got a. Oops. actually fit perfectly on there we can have a, a plume as well oh come on And the gobstoppers. And all sorts of colors. We'll add a couple on here for fun. I think I'll add a couple clear sequins as well. And mustache. There's black in there as well. Let's see. Lots of fun. A little pizzazz. Here we go. I think we'll call that done for tonight. Obviously it needs to go on a card blank, but if I shine this, I don't know if you can see the shine on the pearlescence on the, on the little candy jars. We've got a selection, cute little mice, 
and they have broken into the candy store and they are running riot. They're having a proper treat. And why not? We need to treat ourselves every now and again. Hey? <laughs> I've had lots of fun making this card tonight. I hope that you've had fun joining in. There we go. Come on. There we go. Um, and I love it whenever we come up with weird ideas to mix and match some of our stamp sets. And I hope that you're inspired to try different things too. Um, like I said, that Gumbelievable, it doesn't look overly exciting at the start, like maybe because, let's face it, we're all drawn to critters, but this is actually a stamp set that I think you'll use a lot. Um, and you'll be able to use other things in your stash in it. You could put candy cane in the jar, you could put wrapped candy, you could put candy corn like we did tonight. You could draw your own, you can use the little circle, the gumballs, and turn them into eyeballs and other disgusting things if you wanted to do a bit more of a creepy one. Um, lots of stamps in your stash will work great and the memo tape is perfect for masking if you want to layer those up. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. I had lots of fun. <laughs> Uh, Amanda says that she's just finished hers too, but mine a lot more detail. Well, you started later than mine, so you'll have to send me a picture just now so I can see it before I go to bed. <laughs> Speaking of which, I shall see you guys next week. Have a great week, and until then, happy crafting. Bye!